everybody. Folks, my next guest is a musical artist, a television host, the star of Chicago on Broadway, and Scary Spice. Please welcome Mel B. Excited to see you. Hey, uh, congratulations for being back on Broadway. This isn't your first time, right? You were here for Rent. No, this is my second right? time. Well, that was 12 years ago. I was a little baby 12 years ago. Now I feel like I'm a little bit more mature and I'm a little bit nicer. What? <laughs> You're, yeah. a nicer, you're a nicer person? Yeah, because I think I, I, I appreciate doing Broadway so much more this time round. And especially being part of this particular show, because it's the longest running show on Broadway, 20 years plus. Right. And it's just, I mean, I feel. And Ro you play blessed. Roxy, which is a great part. Yeah, she's a bit yeah. saucy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're. you're you get to. You get to dance and murder people, right? Exactly. Nice. All in two and a half hours. Now, you've moved to New York. Uh, to do this part, of course. Yeah. And your kids, are your kids with you? Two of my kids are with me, my, my youngest, my five-year-old and my nine-year-old. Okay, and have they seen the show? Because it's a, it's, it's a mature show. Have they seen the show? They are breathing and living the show because, you know, I'm from England, so I don't have an American accent, but my I kids... Noticed. I noticed. You noticed, did you? Noticed, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so my kids would help me rehearse my lines because they have great American accents. And, you know, trying to get me to sound like them, even though the, the text isn't very kid-friendly, some of it, because we're no, it's killing not. people. So, but, um, like, yeah, what, they are, know what the lines show inside are you out. running with your children? Like, what are they... Well, just stuff a like... A five-year-old is saying yeah. what? Screw you, you son of a bitch. But in context of the show, <laughs> they were helping me with my R's, because my R's are really bad, because I don't do an American accent that well yet. Do you, do you, have you had to say to them, like, very well, thank you very much, please don't repeat this outside of the Oh, no, the they house. know that it is, like, just for mummy on stage in a show. That's an adult show. But at dinner, they will recite some lines. <laughs> like, like? There's, there's, like, a scene where the six ladies are explaining how they kill their spouses. And there's one particular um, scene that my five-year-old can just say word for word about the guy that kept on popping his gum and she, he ran into her knife ten times and it wasn't her fault. So, yeah, she, she does recite that at dinner. I'm like, oh, God, I hope nobody's hearing. <laughs> so, I actually haven't seen the show. Are you doing the show with your original accent or are you doing a Chicago accent? Because that's a very specific American accent. Can I be really honest with you? Okay. I don't quite know what accent I've got. It's just... <laughs> It's just well, there. Okay. Well, here, th this is here's a Chicago here's a Chicago sentence. Okay, here's a Chicago sentence. Let me try. Let me help you with this. See, because I live in Chicago for the years. I picked up some rats from the Osco Jewel for the Bears game. What does that mean? Osco Jewel is if the Jewel grocery store. If there's right. like the is the drug stores that connected to it, same company. You call it the Osco Jewel. Okay. okay or the Jewel Oscos. Okay. I picked right. up some rats. Brats. Picked I up picked some up brats. some brats. I picked up some brats. 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 Rats. From, from the jewel. From the jewel. For the bear scheme. For the bear scheme. That's what that sounded like to me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. So you can imagine it's what my accent is like on the show. Wow. Okay. Um, well. Let me ask you something about the Spice Girls, because that is certainly how, uh, you know, many of the people here know you and are excited, excited about knowing you. How did, how did all of those names come about? Because I know you guys sort of, like, you, had a, you guys had a manager who said, let's create the super girl band. Well, and... it wasn't him. We actually created ourselves. Oh, and we were that. all of our music ourselves. you guys were like the monkeys, like somebody put you guys together. No, no, no. That's not an insult. The monkeys are a great that. band. Yeah. I know, I know they are. I mean, a lot yeah. of people do think that, but the actual real original story is there was an original audition for a girl group. The guy wouldn't sign us. So us five kind of collected ourselves together. We lived on the well fair and we kind of worked on our music and created our first and second album by promising people that we'd pay them back 
and we never did. <laughs> and then, and you know, then we're we broadcasting this, right? I know, but they got their they royalties have at some point. So, but then where did the names Simon. come from? We found Simon, and then the whole band erupted. And I guess, you know, girl groups weren't very popular. It was all about the boy group. So we yeah. had this one journalist that I guess was extremely lazy, couldn't bother, couldn't be bothered to remember all of our names, and just gave us like nicknames, like, oh yeah, that one's a bit scary, that one is a bit posh, that one's a bit sporty, that one's a bit baby, and they just kind of stuck. And so we honestly, were like, like what, in this interview, he just couldn't remember your name. We well, so couldn't he be just... bothered. He just kind of just said, "Well, she's scary. She's this." In 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 his opinion, in in his mind, yeah. and it kind of just worked. I was like, "Well, I like mine because at least I'm scaring people before I even walk in the room. So watch <laughs> out. <laughs> it was can easy." You, can you explain something to to me? Go on. Um, this is for uh, one of my producers who works on the show, who is, like many people here, a huge fan of the Spice Girls and of yours. She loves Spice World, the movie. Oh, yeah. And I think <laughs> she was... probably about the, a handful of people she that was, do. She, was about, it. she said it was one of the best movies she's ever seen. It's an amazing movie. Yes. She, she was, I think she was nine when she saw it. Oh, bless her. And she particularly liked, she particularly liked this bus right here. You guys had this big bus yes. you all lived on together, and everybody yes. had their own little area. It's a very large bus, as you can tell. But she did not understand, as a little girl, why there was a stripper pole on the <laughs> bus. And her mother refused to explain to her what that pole could possibly be. Can you explain to well, all the little was... girls out there why there was a stripper pole <laughs> on your bus? Well, I mean, it was actually, instead of walking down the stairs, you'd go down the fireman's pole. Oh, it so was there was that reason for, for the it, but then fireman's ball. But then there was. You guys also, fought fires, did you? Well, kind of. <laughs> a little bit. But also, okay. you know, five girls together. We like to kind of spin round a pole every now and again. Who doesn't? <laughs> no, is it just me? I never have. I should give it a try. I should give it a try. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Baby steps. All right. <laughs> Well, it was lovely to meet you, Mel. Nice to meet you Thanks too. So no, I feel like I really here. exposed my my inner stripper. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Chicago is at the Ambassador Theater through February 19th. Mel B, everybody. Stick around. Gilbert Godfrey is coming up.